Good morning, this is Mission Control Houston. Thank you for joining us for today's ISS update this Monday, December 19. We're now looking at a live view inside the International Space Station Flight Control Room, where the team here has been monitoring the systems aboard the station and supporting the day's activities of the uh, Expedition 30 crew members. Leading the team here in the uh, Station Flight Control Room today is Flight Director Mike Lammer, seen here on the right-hand side of your screen with uh, Shannon Lucid there next to him, serving as CAPCOM. She's responsible for relaying all ground messages up to the crew. Aboard the orbiting complex, Station Commander Dan Burbank and Flight Engineers Anton Shkoplarov and Anatoly Ivanishin begin their fifth week as the Expedition 30 crew and their sixth week in space. Commander Burbank, Shkaparov, and Ivanishin launched to the orbiting complex aboard their Soyuz spacecraft as the Expedition 29 crew last month. They docked to the Poisk module of the space station two days after their launch on November 15. Burbank then assumed command of the station a week after the trio had arrived. Today, he and his crew members complete their 36th consecutive day in space. Meanwhile, Back on Earth, the Expedition 30 crew, NASA astronaut Don Pettit, Russian cosmonaut Oleg Kononenko, and European Space Agency astronaut Andrei Kuipers, who are scheduled to launch from Baikonur in Kazakhstan this week, Wednesday, at 7.16 a.m. Central Time, 8.16 a.m. Eastern Time, are in their final days of preparations to join their crewmates on the International Space Station. Today, their Soyuz TMA-03M spacecraft rolled out to the pad from which it will launch and now stands poised for the scheduled liftoff this week. The trio there in Baikonur will join the crew aboard the orbiting complex on Friday when their Soyuz spacecraft docks after a two-day voyage to the station. Live coverage of the Soyuz launch, docking, docking and hatch opening will be uh, aired here on NASA television. That launch coverage will begin on Wednesday morning at 6.30 a.m. Central Time. The uh, space station with its crew aboard is now flying at an altitude of about 240 statute miles. The uh, orbiting facility is making a night pass on a southeastern track. A, a few minutes ago, it made a pass just across Kazakhstan on an eastern track. This is the launch site of the next Soyuz scheduled for liftoff on Wednesday. The station is now on that southeastern track, making its way across Mongolia and eventually China and the tip of South Korea. The uh, expedition crew kicked off their week this morning with the uh, first of daily, two daily planning conferences as a couple of hours after wake up at midnight central time. Planning conferences are held with the ground controllers at mission control centers around the world to review the day's activities and plan for the next set of tasks. And the crew will participate in another daily planning conference just before entering its pre-sleep period a couple of hours after today's ISS update hour. The crew is then scheduled to go to bed at 3.30 p.m. Central Time. During today's ISS update hour, Commander Dan Burbank will have just wrapped up his work with a control panel update of the onboard COTS UHF communication unit that will enable communication between the space station and future demo cargo delivery spacecraft. Commander Burbank is now tending to a couple of science facilities. He will update the software for the sodium loading and microgravity experiment that studies fluid and salt retention in the body during spaceflight. He also will activate the microgravity science glove box located in the laboratory that provides a sealed environment for conducting science and technology experiments. And later during the hour, he will stow away the mayor's hardware that is used in research on human physiology to better understand the effects of microgravity on the muscular system. Meanwhile, flight engineer Anton Shkaparov is performing maintenance to the service module panels while Anatoly Ivanishin works alongside him to uh, remove and replace storage batteries in the Russian side of the house. Earlier this morning, Commander Dan Burbank performed a water sample analysis of the onboard water recovery system and transferred the data from the TOCA, or the Total Organic Carbon Analyzer, that was used to analyze water that has been processed and purified, ensuring it is safe for consumption. He then spent some of his morning working with the fluids and combustion facility that uh, houses two powered racks that enables research in fluid physics and combustion science. He uh, set up for the preliminary advanced colloids experiment known as PACE to be conducted with the fluids integrated rack that looks at how fluids be behave in microgravity. Burg 
Burbank also had spent the uh, morning working on the treadmill kinematics experiment. He then gathered some of the exercise equipment on board in advance of the arrival of the remainder of expedition crew members this week. The uh, commander also took some time this morning to talk to middle school students via ham radio in Italy. Flight engineers Anton Shkaplerov and Anatoly Ivanishin worked together to unpack items that were brought up on the Progress cargo ship last month. Shkaplerov performed regular maintenance to the Russian life support systems aboard the complex and also began a 24-hour electrocardiogram monitoring that reads his in-motion heart function. Meanwhile, Ivanishin had spent some time this morning cleaning out, changing out the lamps and fuses of the lighting panels in the Russian segment of the space station. And later today, Shkaplerov will tend to a world ocean observation study known as CENER that looks at the world's bioproductive ocean areas from space. By the end of their day, the three station crew members will have completed their two hours of daily exercise. They will perform some evening prep work and wind down their day with a mealtime hygiene and rest. The expedition crew is scheduled to go to bed at 3.30 p.m. Central Time. This is Mission Control Houston.